Lesson 96. In this lesson, we learn yet another verb of the second conjugation. You already know one verb of the second conjugation, and that's the verb habeo. But after this lesson, you'll know two verbs from the second conjugation. Let's take a look at the different forms of timeo by looking at the chart. Timeo is the first person singular. Timace is the second person singular. Timet is the third person singular. Timemus is the first person plural. Timatis is the second person plural. And timent is the third person plural. And the infinitive form is timere. Let's get some practice with our new verb by looking at the exercises. In exercise one, the verb is timeo, and that means I fear. It's being negated by the word non, and bestias is the direct object. So number one says, I do not fear the beasts. In number two, timent is the verb. That means they fear. But we don't need the word they because incoli is the subject. Incoli is being possessed by insuli, which is in the genitive singular. Bestias is the direct object. So number two says, the inhabitants of the island fear the beasts. In number three, we have two clauses, one coming before the word quod and another coming after the word quod. The first clause says, the girl is walking in the forest. And in the second one, timet is the verb. That means he, she, or it fears. And there is no other word in that clause to be the subject. So we will need to use the he, she, or it included in timet. We've already established in the first clause that we're talking about a girl. So we'll use the word she. Timet is being negated by the word known, and bestias is the direct object. So number three will say, the girl is walking in the forest because she does not fear the beasts. In number four, desidero is the verb. That means I want or I long for. Ambulare is an infinitive that means to walk. And we have two prepositional phrases, in silwa and cum bestiis. So number four says, I want to walk in the forest with the beasts. In number five, timent is the verb. That means they fear. But we don't need the word they because bestiae is the subject. Timent is being negated by the word known. And agricolas is the direct object. So number five will say, the beasts do not fear the farmers. In number six, the word said divides the sentence into two smaller independent clauses. In the first clause, timent is the verb. That means they fear, but we don't need they because bestiae is the subject. Nautas is the direct object, and non is negating timent. So the first clause says, the beasts do not fear the sailors. In the second clause, timent is the verb, but we don't need the they in timent because nautai is the subject and bestias is the direct object. So altogether, number six will say, the beasts do not fear the sailors, but the sailors fear the beasts. In number seven, we have two independent clauses, one coming before the word quod and one coming after the word quod. In the first clause, damus is the verb. That means we give or we are giving. Pecunium is the direct object and poetai is the indirect object. In the second clause, habet is the verb and that means he, she, or it has. And since there's no other word in that clause to be the subject, we will need to use the word he, she, or it as the subject. In the first clause, we have already established that we're talking about a poet, so we'll just use he as the subject. Pecuniam is the direct object. So number seven will say, we are giving money to the poet because he does not have money. In number eight, we have two clauses, one coming before quod and the other coming after quod. In the first clause, we have potes, which means you are able. It's being negated by the word non. Nawigare is an infinitive that means to sail. And ad insulam is a prepositional phrase. In the second clause, habes means you have. It's being negated by non. And skafam is the direct object. So number eight says, you are not able to sail to the island because you do not have a boat. In number nine, sum is the verb, that means I am. In casa is a prepositional phrase, 
and the word casa is being possessed by the word agricolae, which is in the genitive singular. So number nine will say, I am in the house of the farmer, or I am in the farmer's house. In number 10, we have two clauses, one coming before quod and the other coming after quod. The first clause says, I do not like water. And the second clause says, I am not able to swim. So number 10 says, I do not like the water because I am not able to swim.